Hello, in this video we're going to go over coordinates, what x, y, and z mean, and how you can use them. So I currently am out in the world. Uh, I don't know where I am. And I want to go to, let's say, 300, 300. So I hit F3, and as you can see where it says x, y, z, which I'll show you right here. So x, y, z, I am at negative 100 for x, 69 for y, and I can't see z, but z is negative 500. So I want to go to 300, 300. So what does that actually mean? Uh, so for the x, I need to go from negative 100 to 300. So I need to go more positive. I need the numbers to be bigger. And for z, I want to go from negative 500 to 300, positive 300. So again, I have to get bigger numbers. I need that number to get closer to 300, to positive 300. So what do I do? Well, in Minecraft, we have box right here, right? Uh, so that's a line right there. You can go this direction, just along that block, or you can go the other direction. So you can go that way. So one of these directions is straight north and south, and one of these directions is straight east and west. Uh, I know just from knowing this is north-south, and this is east-west. So if I go this way, I'm going east or west. I actually don't know off the top of my head which direction is east, which is west. Uh, we can actually check that again by hitting F3. And just below where it says X, Y, Z, you see facing. Actually, I'll do this. So that says facing right there, facing east. So facing east. So if I'm walking this direction, I'm facing east. Um, that's not really all that relevant uh, to what we need to do in this video, but sometimes that's useful. So let's just start back. Where did we start? I think we started right around here. So, again, we are at negative 100 and negative 505. So, if I go in this direction, and I guess it's south, one of those numbers, either X or Z, is going to change. Only one of them. The other one will stay about the same. So, if I say go forward, you can see the X is staying about the same. But the Z is becoming less negative. It's getting bigger. If I go completely backwards, you know, all of a sudden, look, if I go north, Z is getting smaller. It's going from negative 489 to negative, 400, negative 495. So if I go back to where I was started from, um, I know all of a sudden that if I wanted to go to 300, positive 300 in the Z direction, I need to go in this direction. Because if I go in this direction, I'm getting more negative. And we don't want to be more negative. We want to become more positive. We want the number to be bigger. So I know I want to go somewhere in this direction. So next thing we need to do is go east-west. Again, off the top of my head, I don't know which way is west or east. Uh, looks like from the facing, I'm facing west. So if I go this direction, straight this direction, I know Z is going to stay about the same. And it does. It goes, it doesn't change. It stays at about negative 505. But the X number is changing. So it goes from negative 99 to negative 105. So I'm becoming more negative. My numbers are getting smaller. Well, I don't want smaller. I want bigger because I want to go to positive 300. So I need to go this direction. So that way, uh, I'm going from negative 100 down to negative 96. So I know to get to 300, 300, I want to go that direction. So if I want to go that direction, and I want to go that direction, why don't we go in the middle? So somewhere in the middle is the direction we want to go. So we're going to go somewhere in that direction. And I will just fly until we get to 300, 300. As you can see, the numbers are changing, and if you look closely, you realize the X number is getting closer to 300 before the Z number is. So we're, you know, already in the positive X, 
but we're still in the negative Z. So how to fix that? Well, that's the X direction. That changes very quickly. That's the Z direction. So we want to go a little bit more in the Z direction. And all of a sudden, X isn't changing as quickly, but Z is changing quite quickly. So we're almost at X300, and we're rapidly approaching Z300. So if we keep on going this direction, we are almost there. So we're almost at the X300, and we just passed the Z300, and we can go straight back there. So it's that direction, and we're almost there. So X, we're at X300, and we're at Z300. So that's all you need to know. So that's it. So if you have any questions, or if I didn't explain it well, uh, throw your questions in the comment sections, and I will get to them, and maybe I'll do another video to try to explain it even better next time. So let me know. Thank you.